is not seriously affecting tourism industry. Hello there, good afternoon. I'm Cynthia Arthur. You're watching News on 2. Yang Dipertuan Agong Al Sultan Abdullah Riayatuddin Al Mustafa Bila Shah last night presented the National Literary Award to Professor Dr. Siti Zainon Ismail during the 14th National Literary Award ceremony at a hotel in Kuala Lumpur. Al Sultan Abdullah and Raja Permaisuri Agong Tunku Haja Aziza Amina Maimuna Iskandaria were greeted on arrival by Education Minister Dr. Masli Malik. Meanwhile, Professor Dr. Siti Zainon, in her speech, said that unification through Malay language as a national language should be emphasized, with its use expanded through announcements via posters, signage, and advertisements, as well as prioritized in presentations, seminars, or international national dialogues. Professor Dr. Siti Zainon, a writer and cultural arts researcher, was chosen based on her contribution to the development of literature and impact on the spread of knowledge and leadership in the literary community. She has written three novels, 25 collections of poetry, nine collections of short stories and 20 essays on literary research. Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad has assured that the government's plan to redevelop Kampung Baru will be in the best interest of the Malays. In a text of his speech, which was uploaded onto his official Facebook page, the Premier refuted allegations that the redevelopment would drive its Malay inhabitants away from the area. Pentingan orang Melayu termasuklah kepentingan sosial, ekonomi, warisan, adat, budaya dan nilai sejarah akan diberi keutamaan dalam setiap pembangunan yang hendak dilaksanakan. He said this was provided for in the Kampung Baru Development Body Act 2011, which states that the interests of Malays, including their social needs, economic situation, heritage, traditions, culture and historical value, will be prioritized when developing the area. Tun Dr. Mahathir said he had been informed that the redevelopment efforts will take into account the Kampung Baru's heritage, history, plus adhere to Malay and Islamic architecture guidelines. This, he said, would ensure the area remains a symbol of Malay culture in Kuala Lumpur. Despite being badly hit by the haze, the tourism industry is not so seriously affected. According to Deputy Tourism, Arts and Culture Minister Mohamed Bakhtir Wan Sheikh, reassures that although the haze is expected to continue until at least end of the month, it has so far not affected the arrival of tourists into the country. Semua negara, bukan semua tempat di Malaysia yang uh, terkena jerbu, ada di beberapa tempat yang mencatatkan API yang rendah. So ada beberapa spot saja, saya rasa kurang daripada uh, 10 spot yang uh, mencatatkan uh, API yang tinggi, yang uh, tak tak betul tidak sihat. Mohamed Bakhtiar said this after taking part in an international coastal cleanup program organized by University Science Malaysia at the Lokumbar Pulau Pinang. Welcome back. Last year's Malaysia Cup runners-up, Terengganu FC TFC failed to capitalize on home ground advantage when they lost 0-1 to Johor Darul Takzim JDT in the quarter-final stage of the Malaysia Cup at Stadium Sultan Ismail Nasiruddin Shah in Kuala Terengganu last night. The first half saw the Super League champion for six consecutive years, JDT dominating play with three attempts on the Turtle squad's goal mouth. In the eighth minute, JDT's Trangano born attacker Safawi Rasid made his first attempt through a cross from right side, but it was well read by TFC keeper Wan Mohamed Azrai Wante. In the 16th minute, JDT's Brazilian striker Diogo Santo made an attempt but the shot from outside the penalty box went high and missed the mark. 
The relentless attacks by the visiting team, however, finally succeeded in breaking the TFC defense in the 22nd minute. Diogo emerged as a hero when he scored through a powerful shot from outside the penalty box to beat one Mohamed Azray. In the 64th minute, Trunganu almost scored the equalizer through Uzbek import Sanjar Shalmedov, but his attempt went above the bar. TFC will travel to Stadium Tansri Hassan Yunus, Larkin Johor, for the second leg of the Malaysia Cup quarterfinals on 28 September. That concludes this afternoon's edition of News on 2. In our top story, demo in Hong Kong suburb turns violent with tear gas fired as unidentified men attacked commuters. Join us again at 7 tonight for more updates on the latest happenings around the world. Till then, I'm Cynthia Arthur and thank you for watching.